and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great start to your Friday. Today, I wanted to do some more fall shopping because it's actually literally in the 60s today and I am just so excited. Really need sweaters, I need all the things. But before we get into today's thrifting trip, I actually wanted to talk about a sustainable jewelry company that they were kind enough to sponsor today's video. I do happen to get a lot of questions on what jewelry I'm wearing in my videos and things like that and Ana Luisa is one of them. Before I show you guys the pieces, I just want to tell you guys a little bit about this company. So Ana Luisa, they are trying to be carbon neutral by the end of 2020 this year and that is so important for Earth because their pieces are fairly affordable. So they all start from $39 and go the way up depending on what that is. So that is very unheard of for a sustainable jewelry company. So love how affordable they are. Also the quality of the pieces, they don't tarnish, they use the best noble metals. So you really are getting such an amazing deal and you're also being sustainable and helping mother nature and that is just the most incredible part about it. I love the way they package their jewelry. So I picked up three pieces from them. Love these colors and I love that you're able to store your jewelry, especially if you're traveling, it's a really good way to separate your jewelry. The first piece of jewelry that I'm gonna show you guys is their rope bold ring and I loved the detail of this. I actually been wanting a ring like this for a long time and I like that it's still simple enough. I love the fact that I can have a ring now that won't tarnish or turn my fingers green and the color and detail of the gold is absolutely beautiful. This ring is $59 which is pretty good considering like I said the quality of them. It's a timeless piece so that way you will be able to transition it into all seasons. This ring is definitely my new favorite and I am so excited to add this to my collection and to start wearing more rings. The next piece that I picked up is this really pretty chained choker necklace. This is called the Jessup and this is $59 retail as well for them. Love the fact that it's a very simple piece so I can layer it all the time with anything all year round. You guys know that I wear necklaces all the time so this one is definitely one of them that I will be wearing almost every single day. The last piece that I picked up is this thicker chained necklace. This style is called Alyssa and this retails for $115. What I really like and what I read upon is that they actually use recycled sterling silver. So these details on this are amazing. And the reason why I got this one is for layering purposes. And it is just something that I don't have in my jewelry collection. I literally love how everything goes together. So I will be living in these pieces of jewelry. And if you saw something that you love, they're actually going to give you guys 10% off your first purchase. So if you use the code WFLEUR10, which I will leave right here, and it'll also be down in the description box below for you guys, so you guys can get your hands on amazing, affordable, sustainable, quality products. And I really, truly love the design and quality of these pieces. So thank you so much, Annalisa, for sponsoring this video. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I am so ready to head to the thrift store and find some cute fall clothes. So let's go ahead and go thrifting today. So I just found the sweater aisle, so I am gonna start sifting through here and hoping that we can find some stuff. sweater section there really wasn't a lot that I could find 
but there was a couple things that I found, so I just wanted to show you them really quick. I found this really amazing mock neck sweater from Uniqlo. It's like a thinner material, so it's great for layering. So I thought this was really cute and I love the more like gray and black detail in it. Then I picked up this amazing mustard yellow knit sweater. It's super long and oversized but I just thought with like my new hair it would be so cute. So I'm really hoping this fits but we can't try anything on because the fitting rooms are closed so hopefully these at home will look good. So now I'm gonna head on over to the long sleeve blouses because I wear blouses all year round, but I really need some long sleeve ones and maybe some more like just really like big oversized shirts like this. So let's head on over there. <laughs> and head on over to the women's jeans. I usually don't find women's jeans in like the women's section. I usually find a lot of my jeans in the men's. So after we're done with the women's section, we're gonna head on over to the men's. But let's see if I can find any jeans. <laughs> today but nothing in the jeans except I went into the slacks and I found these. I found these high-waisted white Ralph Lauren jeans and they have like more of like a wider leg on the bottom but I am so mad. There's like all of these stains on them and I don't think these were gonna come out of the white pants. So sadly I need to put them back. Oh, but look how perfect they are. They're like the perfect wide leg and I would have cropped them and the high waist with the darting so I'm really sad but if anyone knows how to get anything out they're at goodwill all right now I am gonna head on over to the men's because I'm not having any luck in women so far so crossing my fingers and hoping that we can find something over there oh I was looking at men's sweaters and I actually found a women's turtleneck I love this color so much so I was really excited to find this in the men's <laughs> and you guys look how many rows there are just wait that is all t-shirts so there is bound to be something in here i hope so let's go
nothing in t-shirts after I sifted through all of them. They're all either have stains, they're not the graphics that I would wear, or it's just not the color. So I'm gonna lastly go into the men's jeans and then I'm hoping that I can find at least something over there. Bum. these are not gonna fit me but i just found some everlane jeans these normally run for like 60 anywhere to 80 dollars and they're only 7.99 here you'll never know what you're gonna find in here you guys found a pair of billy reed jeans for men oh wow i just i don't know if you guys have ever felt salvage denim before but these are in great shape and these are probably like 300 dollar jeans and again 7.99 that is just insane i feel like i never go through the pusses so i'm actually gonna go over there really quick and just sift through and see if there's anything that i can have i really need like a new backpack or something so let's see what i can find All right, guys, so I saved my favorite section for last. So we are about to head on over to all the home decor and maybe see if there's some fall decor I can pick up and then just any other things that I can find. So let's go. I've actually been looking for one of these, so I'm real stoked about that. Oh, I'm so sad. This was like a set of little plates and it had little leaves and a pumpkin, but the pumpkin's broken. That would have been so cute. Okay, so I found the cutest mug, okay, for coffee. And then I turn it around, it's for Pete. I think I'm gonna get it because it says Pete. How incredible is this mug? And it says it was made in 70 to 81. So Pete was vintage, Pete's vintage. <laughs> so pretty it has like the art deco look to it and the base Ooh, yeah definitely i'm gonna grab this too all right guys so just wrapped up in the homeware section so i think i am done here and I'm gonna head home and then I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got. Hi guys, it has been a few days since I did that last thrifting trip and I can honestly say that this thrift trip has been probably one of my favorites just because each piece that I picked up, I actually will wear so much and I'm so happy that I found these things. Before I get into the try on haul portion of this, I wanted to show you the two home decor items that I actually picked up that I think are incredible. You guys probably remember in the video how I was so excited when I found this mug and it was only 99 cents and then I turned it around and it said Pete. So I had to get Pete. He is a true vintage. He is a true OG. And I really liked the handle of it. And I just thought this would be really funny to have just for my morning coffee. This one was such a good one. And for 99 cents, 
you can't beat it. Then this other item I did show in the video and it's this really cool picnic basket. So it's probably for two like wine glasses and then you know bread and things like that. So I like to pick things up like this for my props for Instagram or anything like that. We actually have a vineyard in Nashville and you're able to bring your own like setup. So I feel like you could still have a fall picnic. So I thought this was really cute, but I couldn't leave the thrift store without these things. So I was super excited. Okay, you guys, I am so ready to style these things that I grabbed. So let's go ahead and get on to the haul portion of this video. The first top that I want to show you guys is this linen tank top that I actually pulled out of the men's section, if you guys remember in the video. And it is such a good staple piece. I wear linen and tank tops all year round just because they're so versatile but i also love that i can layer this so i can wear just like a flouncy like oversized flannel or a sweater or cardigans i am so excited about this item this next sweater was actually another one that i found in the men's section but actually was for women so that's why i always tell you guys to look throughout the whole entire thrift store because you never know. Usually turtlenecks bother me, but this one is actually the perfect turtleneck. I feel like this is the perfect tuck-in sweater because it's not super thick or super crazy. And this was such a good one. All right, guys, I saved the best for last. This was the best sweater I think I have ever thrifted. And I was so excited when I found this. It is the perfect color. It's the perfect chunky knit sweater. It has that mock neck, but it's not crazy constricting. I am so stoked about this sweater and it is my favorite find to date. I am obsessed with it. Guys, I cannot tell you how much I love all the pieces that I got. Today. I feel like this has been my best thrift trip in a while because even though I didn't get a lot, I got such amazing pieces, especially this sweater, and I am just obsessed with it and I love it so much. All the pieces that I bought are so good for fall and I am so ready. And I also love how my Anna Lisa jewelry looks with all the pieces that I had featured in today's video. Remember, if you guys want any of the pieces that I am wearing in this video, make sure to use my code WFLIR10 at checkout for Anna Louisa, which I will leave everything down in the description box for you guys so you guys are able to shop great sustainable pieces that are super affordable and will get you ready for your fall wardrobe. If you are not already, make sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe button right down below so you will not miss any thrifting trips in the near future. Well guys, this was so much fun and I really hope you guys got some fall outfit inspos and I would love to know what your favorite item was that I got on this trip. So also leave that comment right down below. I really hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.